Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to a very, very quick video. If you follow my channel, uh, you have seen me uh, doing some uh, coding on this car, uh, replacing the CCC. And one of the um, one of the things I've showed you on the video was a noise coming from the drive. Uh, as you can see, the CD is now playing, and I'm sure you can't hear nothing now. I might leave a link in the description below for the other video where you can hear that clicky noise. That was coming from this drive, which was the drive that came with the unit I bought to replace the old one. But obviously the drive on the old unit was better than this one. I don't know why it was causing that clicky noise, but whatever that, that was, uh, well, doesn't matter. I just replaced the whole drive. Uh, but uh, I've showed you as well that uh, the, the old unit, the unit that was on the car, had the had the both discs inside and i could not eject the discs i removed the audio disc that was at the top and now i'm in the process of removing the navigation disc and what i'm going to show you is how to remove the disc without dismantling too much and obviously without damaging anything that's the most important so i'm going to try to place the camera here like that so you can see what i'm doing so the top or the lower drive, they are both very similar, obviously, uh, it's just the, 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 the unit that is fitted in a different place. So to take this unit, you need to take the top one, then you have two screws right here at the back, one on each side. You have two at the front and the unit will just slide out. Once you slide the unit out, you don't need to unplug nothing, at least for this one. Uh, for the other one, uh, you can actually do it just by taking the top cover. And you can access straight away the same as this. On these units, this is how it's done. Similar units, I'm sure you can do it the same way. So uh, uh, if this, if the unit is, is is similar, so what you do is the motor that uh, ejects and takes the CD in or the disc is this motor here. And all you need to do, guys, to remove the disc is you take this screw off. And once you take the CD, the screw out, this motor will come out, okay? And you pull it up like that. Careful because there is wires connecting uh, at the back. So just put it to the side. Then just grab a screwdriver and you turn this cog clockwise. And look at that in there. Look right there. As you turn it clockwise, and I mean it's a little bit, and now, and there it's coming out. Look at that. Okay. Oh come on! I just <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to show you something, and I let it to come out again. So let's kind of do this again. I'm just holding it now. Okay, my CD is here. Just pull it out. Job done. It's the 2014. I think I have um, a more updated version or for the E60s. So let's kind of put this on the drive. And now we just put this back on the motor. Put the screw back on. The thing is here. And we slide the unit back in, into place, and that's how you remove it. Let me see if the navigation is also working, see if it's loading, and yes it is, look at that. Where's the thing that shows the map? There's a place where you can see the map, I'm sure. That's it, all working. And uh, this was just a very quick video, four minutes, five minutes, just to show you how to remove the CD without dismantling the entire drive. That's how you can do it. Right, hope there's some information here. You're gonna enjoy it. Uh, 
if you do have any questions uh you know the score uh put them below hope you enjoyed the video guys and see you next time and like always obviously thank you for watching